Today, we are going to read a story online. Our story is called The Most Magnificent Thing by Ashley Spires. Here's the cover. Magnificent means really, really, really great. Let's look. Here's the title page. The Most Magnificent Thing. Written and illustrated by Ashley Spires. I wonder what the girl's going to do. This is a regular girl and her best friend in the whole wide world. They do all kinds of things together. They race. They eat. They explore. And they relax. Let's take a closer look. Look, they're exploring something. Oops. Let's see if we can go back. It looks like they're exploring. What's that? It looks like they're having a nice time relaxing. She makes things. He unmakes things. One day, the girl had a wonderful idea. She was going to make the most magnificent thing. Remember, magnificent means really, really awesome. I wonder what she'll make. She knows just how it will look. There she is drawing her plans. She knows just how it will work. Let's take a closer look over here at her. Uh-oh, let me go back. There we go. She knows just how it will work. Look, there's all of her plans. I see lots of circles and arrows and numbers. <laughs> and her best friend is doing the doggy thing. Looks like eating some paper. All she has to do is make it. And she makes things all the time. Easy peasy. First, she hires an assistant. An assistant is somebody who helps. Let's see, who is she interviewing for the assistant job? It's her friend, the dog. And the dog is looking very nice with a bow tie on because when you go to a job interview, you want to look your best. <laughs> She's asking questions. I wonder what kind of questions she asked me. Next, they gather their supplies. They, not, they set up somewhere out of the way and get to work. So let's look what they're doing. It looks like they have all of their things. They have collected lots of metal and a screwdriver and screws. Do you think people are using this or do you think that they've stopped using it and she can create something new with it? Now, let's see if the words in the picture match. The word said she set up or she got started somewhere out of the way. But does she look in people's way here? Oh no, look, the bicycle is about to crash. Oh dear, and he has really heavy groceries and he has to step around. And this lady definitely does not look happy. Let's look in the other parts of the picture. Oh look, there's a little kitty cat. And a birdie. There's somebody at the door. Let's see. Hmm, these people. Do you think it will be very easy for her to get to move around the girl? When she gets there, looks like it might be a bit tricky. She has this that helps her to walk. Let's see what happens next. The girl tinkers and hammers and measures. If you tinker with something, that means you play around with it. You take it apart. You use tools. She's hammering. Do you think the assistant is being a good assistant? the assistant being helpful, while her assistant pounces and growls and chews. Oh, look there, she has lots of tools. She's measuring. Here, she's hammering. When she is finished, she steps back 
to admire her work. If you admire something, that means you look at it and you really like it. She walks around one side. Her assistant examines or looks at the other side. It doesn't look right. Her assistant picks it up and gives it a shake. Urgh. It doesn't feel right either. They are shocked to discover that the thing isn't magnificent. It isn't wonderful or even good. It isn't even kind of sort of okay. It is all wrong. The girl tosses it aside and gives it another go. So she was finished measuring and hammering and tinkering, but did it turn out the way that she thought it would? The way in her picture? But did she give up? No way, Jose, she persevered, which means even if you have a problem, you don't give up, you keep on trying. She smooths and wrenches and fiddles. A wrench is a type of a, of a tool like this. And if you wrench something, that means you're twisting it. <laughs> Look at the assistant. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I think the assistant's chasing his tail. Oh, I'm eating some parts. Her assistant circles and tugs and wags. So this is her second version of her magnificent thing. Let's see what happens. When she is finished, she stands up and takes a long look at it. Her assistant gives it a nudge with his paw. The thing is still wrong. Ugh. She tries again. How do you think she's feeling? If she could say something, what might she be saying? I think she might be saying, I can't believe it's all wrong again. Ugh. Maybe she's feeling a little frustrated, but she doesn't give up. The girl saws and glues and adjusts. You adjust something, that means you, you do something really little and see if it works. Here's her glue. <laughs> Look what the assistant is doing. She stands and examines. If you examine, you look closely and stares. How do you think she's feeling about it? Do you think this is finally going to be the most magnificent thing? Let's see what happens next. She twists and tweaks and fastens. And look, there she is. There's lots of really good words in here, aren't there? <laughs> Looks like the doggies smelling. Oh no, what happened here? <laughs> this doggie's going to the bathroom. And now the assistant is smelling. Yuck! She fixes and straightens and studies. Oh, look now, this doggie's going to the bathroom over it. But she's determined. She's too focused. She's not going to give up. Did we switch? She tries all different ways to make it better. She makes it square. Here's the square one. She makes it round. She gives it legs. She even adds an antenna. That's this bit right here. Oh dear. She's trying so many different ways. Look at this one. They all look a bit different from each other, don't they? We have some wheels. There's lots of different ones, aren't there? She makes it fuzzy. <laughs> she makes it sh long, sh short, rough, smooth, big, small, and one that even smells of stinky cheese but none of them are magnificent. Means none of them are the best. Let's count how many she made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
Your hard work attracts a few admirers. If you would, if these are the admirers, that means that they're looking and they're saying, "How wonderful!" But they don't understand. They can't see the magnificent thing that she has in her mind, and she gets mad. Oh no! Even though some people over here are thinking, "Oh, that's so lovely." People are looking. She is really mad. You can tell by this really dark cloud over her head. How's the assistant feeling? Oh dear! Look at all of these ones that she's tried. All of these pieces. Oh no! I wonder. Do you think she'll give up? The angrier she gets. The faster she works, she smashes pieces into shapes. She jams parts together. She pummels the little bits in. If you pummel, that means you push it and push it and push it until it becomes a little bit broken. Her hands feel too big to work. Her brain is too full of all of the not right things. No,、oh, so she's getting angrier and angrier. How do you think how she feels? How do you think that changes the way that she works? How angry she is! Her eyes are slanted downwards. She's not being very gentle anymore. If only the thing would just work. Wow! Look how many exclamation marks! One, two, three! Oh, she's really mad now. Look how the cloud became. So first it was a little bit little, and then medium. Now so big. <laughs> What's her assistant doing? It's like, ah,、uh、ah! -uh, I don't think that's good. He's going to the bathroom on it, silly. Do you think she'll give up now? Crunch! Ow! <gasps> She wasn't paying attention. She smashed her finger. Look, it's already turning red. The pain starts in her finger. Look, the doggy is having the ears over his hands or his paws over his ears. Oh no! Look, it's already swollen or gotten bigger. Ouch! Then the pain rushes up to her brain,、oh、dear, and she explodes. It is not her finest moment, which means that she's not really making the best choices just now.、Oh、dear, I wonder if she'll ever make a magnificent thing. I'm not good at this. I quit. Oh. Her assistant suggests a walk. It's not much help at first. There she is. This we can follow the path of how she goes. So first she's kind of feeling like this, and then she's like, "Oh, there's a new dog. Oh, that's kind of cute. They're playing. Ah,、oh, there's balloons." But before long, she starts to feel different. Bit by bit, the mad gets pushed out of her head. As they stroll or walk along, she comes across the first wrong thing she made. The bad feelings are about to start all over again. Then she notices something surprising. There are some parts of the wrong thing that are really quite right. The bolts on one, the shape of another, and the wheel to seat ratio of the next. There are all sorts of parts that she likes. By the time she reaches the end of the trail, she finally knows how to make the thing magnificent. She gets to work. She works carefully and slowly, tinkering, hammering, twisting, fiddling, gluing, painting. Her assistant makes sure there are no distractions. Shoom! This is the perfect thing to ward off bears or to scare bears away. This will stop that leak. This one's all wet. Ew! What's it wet from? The afternoon fades or turns into evening. Finally, she finishes. She alerts her assistant. Look, everyone! 
found something useful of all of the other things. She's saying, come on, I finally made it. The pair take a good long look. It leans a little to the left and it's a bit heavier than expected. The color could use a bit of work too, but it's just what she wanted. They climb aboard and take off for a spin. They are not disappointed. It really is the most magnificent thing. As you begin to think about what you would like to build this week, think about this story. How she had to first have an idea of what she wanted to make. Remember back when she was making a plan? After that, she got her materials or her supplies and found a place to work. You might want to find a different place to work that's not so in the way. Then she tried and played and experimented and tried and tried some more and tried again and built so many. She was feeling mad. If you start to feel frustrated, what might you do? And if it isn't just the way you want it to, just keep on going. And if you feel like quitting, just go for a walk, take a break. Because when we take breaks, our brains calm down and we learn things and that we can't if we're mad. And then you might have your own most magnificent thing. Thank you, friends.